What is happening to online ESL companies with China's new policy? Is Paulfish still hiring? Is Paulfish still healthy? Is it still active? What is the new rule? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Claudine and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell button para updated ka sa aking mga upcoming videos. Welcome back guys. And for this video, we're gonna talk about Paulfish. So what is happening on online ESL companies with China's new policy? So as what you've heard from the news in the internet, television, China's government is cracking down on after-school tutoring, especially for the kids in Chinese mainland. So the areas outside the Chinese mainland are not affected. So I actually read an article posted by China Briefing. So it's written by Alexander Chipman Cotty. So it says that China has banned for-profit tutoring in core education to rein in the country's private education industry and improve school life balance for families. So what are the changes? So the changes are, according to the guidelines, the reforms aim to promote the healthy development of students, improve education quality, alleviate financial burdens on parents, and institute law-based governance of the education sector. So this is the reason why binabanned po nila ang ESL companies in Chinese mainland. The Chinese students are no longer allowed to take classes, especially to the foreigner teachers. So, sa tayo mga Pinoy and also the native English speakers, they are no longer allowed to teach Chinese students. So, nakakasad, bukod sa band ng isal companies, we are not allowed to teach Chinese students anymore. So, um, we can still teach though. Later, I will tackle about that one. This is the changes. This is the new rule. They crack down the ESL companies in Chinese mainland. And they also um, banned the foreigner teachers to teach Chinese students. So the bottom line here is to reduce the financial burdens on parents. And also to reduce the homework and the study burdens of the students. And they want to promote the mental and physical health for the students as well. So, naiintindihan naman natin yun dahil um, kahit tayo, di ba, witness natin kung, nawi-witness natin kung gaano ka-pressured at ka-stress yung ating mga students habang nagka-class, minsan nakakatulog, minsan uh, absent-minded, pagod, exhausted. So, nafe-feel natin yun, lalo na sa mga 6 years old and below students. So, and I also read an article that the government is trying to make it easier for the parents to make kids. So, another question is that, is Paulfish still hiring? So, the answer is, no. So as of now, we are on freeze hiring. It is also the best solution para maging even yung distribution ng aming trial classes and regular students. So, since nababand na nga yung after-school tutoring sa China, so wala na po kaming trial classes from China, although wala naman talaga akong trial classes. But for some teachers, wala nang trial classes from Chinese mainland. Kailangan nang i-freeze muna yung hiring. Is it because if hindi nila i-freeze, hindi magkakaroon ng students yung iba. So, para maging fair din sa mga current teachers, uh, para ma-distribute equally yung students sa mga current teachers. So, para din maging safe yung company, para maiwasan yung pagdami ng teachers, tapos zero bookings naman. So, kailangan ng freeze hiring. But anyway, if lumakas ulit yung students, pag dumami na naman yung student outside China, they will also open for new applicants naman. So, don't worry. But for now, it's freeze hiring. So, another question is that, is Paulfish still healthy? Is it still active? The answer is yes. So, as of now, also, I am still teaching. I have 280 plus bookings. If hindi ako nag-close, maybe aabot pa siya hanggang 3. But for now, since um totally exhausted at saka drained na rin ako since July pa to hanggang August. Dahil yung schedule ko is 8 to 9.30 until evening. So, I have only 2 hours break. So, napaka overuse ko na rin. So, kailangan ko magpahinga. Uh, nagbawas ako ng slots for this month. At this September, I will be back on my normal schedule, which is 1 p.m. until 9.30 in the evening. So, that's my normal schedule. So, ito yung schedule ko ngayon. Yung schedule ko ngayon is abnormal. <laughs> 
So I can say na active siya is it because we are still teaching pa naman. Um, madaming teachers na fully book. However, may mga teachers din na unti-unti lang yung booking. So depende din kasi siya sa performance. At depende din kung meron kang mga um, regular students. So for me, since meron naman ako mga regular students since before, like one year na kami ng regular students ko, so pabalik-balik na sila sa akin. So still, tuloy pa rin yung aking classes. To give you proof, Palfish released official message. So to Palfish teachers, we noticed that teachers are concerned about Chinese government's new policy on after-school tutoring in Chinese mainland. Some other online education companies have made announcements on their future business prospects in the past a few days. So, Palfish has been actively communicating with related government departments trying to understand the details on the new policies and timeline. So, nakikita ko na ginagawan talaga nilang, nilang paraan para mag operate yung company. Actually, two months ago pa lang, nakapag-ready na sila. Kung napapansin nyo, babago-bago yung rate, natanggal yung level. So, parang two months ago, alam na nila, na-anticipate na nila kung ano yung mangyayari. So, at least, nakapag-prepare na sila. Meron na silang contingency plan, kumbaga. Let's continue. Different from some of them who are going to close their business, Pulfish still holds confidence in our future development because Pulfish is not a company who only provides services to students in Chinese mainland. And this so I'm back again. So I'm sorry if naputol yung video kanina. Kasi na, muntik na akong malit sa aking class. <laughs> At yeah, naabutan ako ng time. Okay, so ngayon may vacant ako. Tapos na ang aking class. So, tuloy natin yung ating pag-vlog. Well, this is true because Paulfish is not just focusing on Chinese students. We also have students from outside China. So, as of now, Paulfish is opening or expanding to different countries all over the world. So, hindi lang siya nagpo-focus sa Chinese student compared to the other ESL companies. Compared sa Palfish, we offer different services. So, meron kaming free talk service. So, um, usually, yung mga native speakers, yung kadalasang meron mga free talk students. May mga Filipino teachers din naman, pero hindi ko kabisado kung sino sila. So, Yung alam ko lang na mga teachers for free talk is their native speakers. Tapos, mostly na students is adult. Merong mga bata din, paunti-unti. Then, merong OKC, yun yung mga native teachers. At merong PHC course, which is Filipino teachers. As of now, open yung Palfish worldwide. So, meron akong students from Hong Kong, um, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia. May Italy din akong isa. Tapos, sa ibang teachers naman, like mga native, native speakers at ibang Pinoy, merong students from France, um, nakalimutan ko yung mga countries, but meron talagang ibang students na ngayon na nag no, sa Palfish. So, in the future, Palfish is an international company that provides services to students all over the world. So, we can still teach kids outside China. So, number two, so, let's talk about the new rule. Enrolled students will be able to finish their package with their foreign teachers. So, us. So, kami yun. So, by the way, this is the official announcement from our admin. So, this means na kahit na bad na yung after-school tutoring sa China, as long as meron silang natitirang lessons, pwede din nilang tapusin yung remaining classes nila with their foreigner teachers. So, yun yung nangyayari sa mga regular students ko now. Usually, three times a week kaming nakikita ng students ko na regular students. So, if they bought 150 or 200 lessons, so it would take like more than 12 months siguro. So, one year. So, tatagal pa siya. Kaya siguro, napansin ko na yung mga regular students ko, parang wala lang sa kanila, kahit yung parents, nandyan lang sa tabi, pero hindi sila nag, nag-open up sa situation na nagaganap sa Chinese mainland. Kasi, panatag naman sila na marami pa silang lessons na natitira. So, sa ibang case, yung mga teachers nga nang nagsisi-CLE sa na, um, yung ibang parents, instead na maghanap ng new tutor nila, ang ginagawa nila, nagpapa 
nare-request na lang sila ng refund. So, madami daw nagpapa-refund. Pero, sawa ng Diyos sa akin, hindi naman sila nagpa-refund dahil andito pa naman ako. So, active pa rin ako. Siguro yung ibang parents, nagpa-panic sila dahil alam nila na umalis na yung teachers nila. At, siguro ayaw na nila maghanap niyang new teacher, kaya ganun. So, another rule is that, starting August 8th, Students in Chinese mainland won't be able to purchase new packages with foreign teachers outside of China. The trial classes with foreign teachers from now on will only be open to students outside of Chinese mainland. So for the first part here, for example, um, kung may nag-enroll sa Palfish na new students, yung teachers na ibibigay or, or i-recommend sa kanila is mga Chinese teachers na hindi na kami allowed Filipino teachers or even the native speakers. And then for the old students, yung mga regular students, if ever matapos yung remaining lessons nila, gusto nilang mag-renew, so they can no longer renew to foreign teachers. So kung mag-renew man sila, yung mga Chinese teachers na yung magiging teachers nila at hindi na kami. For the trial classes, um, um, hindi kami pwedeng mag-take ng trial classes for the Chinese students from Chinese mainland. However, yung mga Chinese tutors, pwede silang tumanggap ng trial classes from Chinese mainland. So, hindi lang kaming makareceive ng trial classes outside China. So, since hindi pa ganun kadami yung students outside China, kaya nagkaroon ng phrase hiring. Kasi um, hindi magiging even yung distribution ng trial classes kung natanggap pa rin ng mga applicants. So, for now, parang hinahanapan muna ng paraan ni Palfish na dumami muna yung students namin outside China. At least, mabigyan ng bookings lahat ng teachers. Kaka-open pa lang din ng Palfish sa ibang bansa. So, kaya hindi pa ganun kadami yung students. But, hopefully, makahanap na ng maraming students, makalikom na ng maraming students si Palfish para nang sa ganun magkaroon na ng bookings lahat at maging open na for applicants ang Palfish in the future. Um, ito din yung maraming katanungan sa, especially sa mga current teachers. So, they, their concern is about the payment kasi ang daming nag-spread na rumors na hindi mababayaran ni Palfish or kahit na yung ESL companies. Kahit ngayon, may mga ibang ESL companies na hindi mababayaran yung mga tutors, even yung mga staff nila na Chinese. So, maraming issues like hindi ko na hindi kung ano companies, pero ang dami. So, dahil sa issues or rumors na yon kahit kami affected kami at nag-worry kami na baka hindi kami magkaroon ng sweldo or what. Pero, um, since nag-release nga ng announcement si Paul Fish, so ito yon So, every month, teacher's payment will arrive your painter or bank account on time. So, hopefully, on time na nga siya. Kasi, once a month yung salary namin, tapos nagde-delay pa siya ng three to four to seven days. So, like, cut off niya, for example, 31. Tapos, when I would do nila sa wallet namin sa first week of the month, tapos papasok siya sa PNR account namin, like, sa fourth day of the month or seventh day of the month. Yun yung pinakamatagal, seventh day. So, delay siya ng mga 47 days. So, hopefully this time, after ng cut-off, kinabukasan, hopefully, ma-withdraw at mapasok na agad sa Binner account. So, yun yung hinihiling namin. Okay, so, it says that you should not worry about getting your money. So, at least may assurance na ganito, ba? At least panatag kami, hindi kami mag-worry na baka hindi magkaroon ng sound or what. So, think positive lang. Then, number five, in the future, Pulfish will also explore more types of services and provide teachers with different types of working opportunities. Maybe mag open sila ng adults. Yan. So, aside from free talk, maybe magkakaroon na ng package for adults. So, hindi ko alam kung ganun ba. Pero, maybe in the future, para lang talaga uh, mag-survive yung company at magbigyan tayo ng, ng stable job. So, speaking of new package for adult. This is the new admin for the Palfish Adult Course. Tama ang aking hula! So, let's just pray na sana mag-work pa rin yung Palfish at madami pa rin siyang mga online teachers na matulungan, lalong-lalo na kami, na ito lang yung aming source of income for now. So, that's all for today. <laughs> so, yun lang. Gusto ko lang itapos yung vlog na to. <laughs> at maging clear sa mind niyo kung ano yung pangyayari ngayon sa Palfish, ano yung katotohanan, ano yung dapat niyong expect 
So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope nakatulong sa inyo. So, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell button para updated ka sa aking mga upcoming videos. I'll gonna see you next time on my next video. Bye!